Um, I wanted to uh, begin just by thanking you for being here today to help us uh, spread uh, awareness about the impressive efforts being taken by organizations like Get Covered America to ensure that people across Illinois and the country receive the health care coverage that they so desperately need. For hospitals serving uh, Chicago's diverse communities, and here at Swedish as an example, uh, we speak 41 different languages. This is one of the key moments uh, in our collective history. Over the next three weeks, uh, there will be crucial efforts made to determine how many health care providers will be able to continue to provide the same care that we provide today to the patients as we have in the past. Unless enrollment rates pick up, many of the city's storied hospitals may be forced to cut back services or cut back employment levels. Chicago hospitals have an enormous community impact on both from an economic and a public health standpoint. For example, Swedish Covenant provides $275 million in economic activity within our community. We employ 2,500 individuals, 50% of whom live within five miles of where we're standing today. Meanwhile, 53% of our patients are either uninsured or on Medicaid. Our roots at Swedish Covenant Hospital um, are deep. And we have been serving patients from Chicago's north side now uh, for over um, 125 years, since 1886. You can say that we were around before there was even a system of health care to reform. In fact, Swedish Covenant was known as the home of mercy serving Swedish immigrants. Over those last 120 uh, years, we have continued to adapt, to grow, and to serve our patients throughout the evolution of healthcare. From the proliferation of private insurance in the 1930s, to President Johnson's Great Society, which in 1965 paved the way for Medicare and Medicaid. By remaining agile and resourceful, we have managed as a hospital to stay independent even in the modern era of healthcare consolidations. As healthcare has grown, our doors have opened to an ever-increasing amount of patients. And we find these are patients who have critical health needs. This is undoubtedly a good thing that we're here. Tens of thousands of Northside residents have historically lacked access to healthcare. Um, and they have been ushered into a system that provides them here at Swedish with compassion and dignity that every person deserves. We have been humbled to serve each one of them with award-winning care. And we hope to impact even more individual lives through our community as the Affordable Care Act takes hold. In fact, as a hospital that is at ground zero of health care reform, we are witnessing the Affordable Care Act's impact every day. Since January 1st, we have treated hundreds of patients who previously were not covered. They were not covered by private insurance or by Medicaid. And many of them come from vulnerable populations of different, of different ethnic uh, backgrounds. While at Swedish Covenant Hospital has long embraced reform, both at the state and federal levels, the Affordable Care Act poses a particular challenge to us. This is the challenge. As part of the legislation, the federal government will cut billions of dollars in funding to many urban and rural hospitals. At Swedish Covenant alone, the annual decrease in federal reimbursement as a disproportionate share hospital is $10 million. Every year on into the future. And unless the promised benefit of enrollment occurs, many of us will be in very serious financial shape. And that translates down into a decline in our communities. So it's critically important that we get an increase in patients with health care coverage, not only because it's the right thing to do from a moral standpoint and a societal standpoint, but it's the right thing to do from an economic standpoint. As we all know, the Affordable Care Act's implementation has been greatly impacted by technology glitches and penalty postponements and other delays. For Swedish Covenant Hospital and other organizations who are committed to serving patients from all income levels, this equates to fewer insured patients, 
lower compensation levels and the continuation of high levels of charity care, and also delays in accessing care when a patient needs it. That is why we applaud the tireless work that Get Covered America and its partners have been undertaking to correct the imbalance. And we have been committing our own hospital resources to ensure our community members have all the education and resources necessary to get covered. We also encourage Illinois' federal representatives and senators to work with care providers such as Swedish Covenant Hospitals and our partner organizations, like America's Essential Hospitals, to ensure the health of our communities. As part of our outreach efforts, we have been fully participating in the Medicaid expansion within the state of Illinois. We're also partnering with Get Covered America on a very unique event this Saturday, the Race to the Finish Indoor Block Party, which will be hosted here at Swedish Covenant Hospital, featuring free consultations with certified health insurance navigators and the opportunity to be matched with the right doctor who will take those health plans. This event is one of the last chances to get coverage before the March 31st Affordable Care Act deadline. Aside from that, it's a nice opportunity for procrastinators to shake off their cabin fever, um, have some fun, get out of the snow for a while, and pretend like it's spring. Anyone interested in coming out can visit our website at www.swedishcovenant.org backslash race. Okay, thank you. Um, Caitlin? Thank you. Next, we have someone who is benefiting from the Affordable Care Act. William Zars is benefiting because he lost his position, he was on COBRA, and now he has an affordable health plan that is really working for his family. I'm pleased to introduce William Zars to tell his story. Hi, good morning. Um, I, I started my career as a newspaper photographer 38 years ago. And uh, one morning last February, which was four days after my 20th anniversary with the Daily Herald, uh, I started to have, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but my, my career really ended that morning. Uh, the day before, I was just filling in on my shift, I normally had that day off, but I had uh, a, a tough day, and it was covering a fatal fire at a, an apartment building, in addition to my other assignments. Uh, I drove 120 miles, and by the time I was on my last assignment, my arms really started to feel heavy, and uh, I went home and fell asleep right after dinner. Uh, I got up the next morning and uh, felt like I had indigestion, but I went to my first assignment in the morning, it was a simple business assignment, and in the middle of that assignment, I also, my arms really felt weak, but I shot the picture and said I have to go. Uh, I drove myself to the ER, and uh, in the car I felt strong chest pains, and uh, in the ER they gave me a nitro pill, and it took away the pain, which I thought was a bad sign, uh, but it wasn't indigestion, and uh, they said, how about a stress test? But then a doctor came through and said, your enzymes are going way up you know, you're gonna have an angiogram. Uh, so I had the angiogram and was watching on the monitor and the doctors were saying, well, that's a bad one, that's a bad one, that's a bad one. And I thought those were not good signals to hear. And they put me in for uh, open heart surgery and I had a quintuple bypass. And uh, when I came out of that surgery, uh, I saw my wife's face and I looked at her and I said, you know, you only have one eye and they thought I was still pretty heavily sedated and didn't think much of it. But when they gave me a menu the next day, uh, I looked at that and it looked like there was a big ink stain over half of it. And I said, could you give me another menu? And they didn't give me a menu, but they gave me a uh, CAT scan and saw that I had a stroke during surgery and lost you know, my central vision. Um, so that was really, you know, my career was, was over at that point. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, let's 
So I was, you know, I was, uh, I could no longer take pictures with a camera. I can't drive. I can't operate a computer. I have to use a cane if I'm walking across the street, blind cane sort of thing to get cars to stop. Um, and I was fortunately covered for a while with health insurance from the paper. They kept me on until they found out that this vision loss was going to be permanent. But after that, uh, my wife and I had to apply for, you know, COBRA insurance. And the costs for that were, you know, considering I was on just disability now, uh, they were outrageous. It was, you know, over $900 a month. And we just were not going to be able to afford that and stay in our home. But uh, we, we signed up for affordable health care and was able to, you know, be covered by the first of the year. And uh, because of the government subsidy on that, with my reduced pay uh, with dental included and a better policy than I actually had before, our, our payments went down to like 550 a month, which was affordable for us. And, uh, you know, we were always supporters of the Affordable Health Care Act. We thought for it, everybody should have good health insurance, but we had it and everybody else should. But when we finally saw that, you know, we, we needed it ourselves, it was kind of a shocking moment. So that's about my story. It's right there. Thank you. And our final speaker today is State Director of Enroll America's Get Covered America campaign, David Elin. Hi, thanks for having us here today. Um, and thank you, William, for, for sharing your personal story. Um, certainly helps us understand um, um, how this law affects real people. Um, I want to thank uh, Mark Newton, CEO of Swedish Covenant, for having us here and our wonderful partners at Organizing for Action, uh, who are also here today. Uh, appreciate your partnership, as always. Um, I, I want to stress one, one date here, uh, March 31st. Uh, March 31st is the deadline to sign up for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, it's, the, it's the deadline to sign up for the marketplace. And that means there's only 20 days left. Um, and it means that we have to get this word out far and wide over the next 20 days to let as many Illinoisans know that it is time to sign up for health care. Um, and during Saturday's event here at Swedish Covenant Hospital, uh, folks will have that opportunity. They will have that opportunity to sit down with a navigator, uh, an unbiased assister, to help them pick a plan that's right for them and their family. Um, it'll, they'll have that opportunity to choose um, what's, what works for them. Um, and then when they're done with the enrollment process, they'll have the opportunity to talk to, to providers about uh, how, to, how to pick uh, a medical home and how to, how to use their health care, um, which is a wonderful opportunity for folks um, that are getting care for the first time and for those who haven't had it for, for quite some time. Um, and, and it's important to recognize that all the plans that are offered through the marketplace cover essential benefits like um, doctor's visits and emergency care and maternity care um, and prescription drugs. And you can't be denied because of a pre-existing condition uh, or because you're sick. Um, and millions and millions of people have already uh, received financial help. 75% um, of Illinoisans have already received financial help uh, when they signed up for, for an affordable care plan. And that fundamentally changes the conversation. Um, I recently um, had some friends who, who suffered um, a, a tragedy and um, throughout their time in the hospital, the one thing they didn't have to worry about was how much that was going to cost. Because they have affordable care, it fundamentally changed the conversation for them and their family. And that's why we're out here spreading this word. That's why partners like Swedish Covenant and Organizing for Action are out there and Get Covered America are out there spreading the word in North Chicago uh, and, and in Albany Park and all around to let folks know that they have an opportunity to sign up for care. And that opportunity is, is going to end for a lot of folks on the 31st. And we have to take advantage of that. Um, so here's what's important. For the first time ever, uh, many, many people who have been shut out of the healthcare system um, have a new way of accessing quality, affordable care. 
Um, and they can do that uh, through the marketplace. Um, anybody who wants to find out where, the, where they can find an enrollment event in their, in their neighborhood can visit getcoveredamerica.org slash events and they can find out where they can go to sign up. And for those folks that are nearby here, please come uh, out on Saturday to Swedish Covenant um, to the indoor block party. We can't wait to see you. Thanks so much. And we have one final speaker today, Diana Bonet. She is a fantastic organizer with Enroll America and Get Covered America campaign, and will be speaking today in Spanish. Buenos días, mi nombre es Diana y yo soy una organizadora con Get Covered America. Y estamos aquí hoy para avisar a la comunidad que hay una nueva manera de um, encontrar seguro médico, que es, um, que es bueno para la familia, que, puedan, que no le duela el bolsillo y que tenga buena cobertura. Este sábado vamos a tener un evento aquí en Swedish Covenant Hospital con Get Covered America, donde van a, no solo van a poder uh, obtener seguro, pero también van a poder um, encontrar un médico de cuidado primario y también puedan um, ganar su primera uh, cita con el doctor. Um, con el seguro, el plan de seguro médico um, ahora ofrecen beneficios um, esenciales como visitas al doctor, um, visitas al hospital, uh, ofrece prescripciones, Um, también ofrece ayuda financiera y eso es bien importante para las familias um, hispanas que sepan um, que no están solos, que hay ayuda financiera y también encontramos que en cada seis de diez personas que no tienen seguro actualmente uh, podrán encontrar un plan que sea más, menos de 100 dólares al mes y eso es bien importante que sepan las familias. Um, también este sábado uh, va a ser un evento donde van a venir nuestros voluntarios. Nuestros voluntarios van de puerta a puerta uh, avisando a la gente que estamos aquí para ayudarles. Um, es bien importante también que sepan que solo tienen hasta el 31 de marzo para encontrar un plan para su familia para que tengan seguro médico en el año 2014. Um, también Get Covered America, estamos aquí en todo el estado um, avisando a las familias, yendo de puerta a puerta, haciendo llamadas a las familias uh, para avisarles que hay seguro, que hay personas que les pueden asistir en persona, como vamos a tener aquí este sábado en Swedish Covenant Hospital. Um, entonces, les invitamos que vengan, que salgan con sus familias. Uh, va a ser un, una fiesta, va a haber uh, actividades para niños uh, y también van a haber uh, asistencias otra vez en no solo obtener seguro médico, pero también en encontrar un, un doctor y también hacer su primera cita. Gracias. Gracias.